here we are. Totally cold. Let's take a temp check here. Where are we at? All right, nothing. All right, hold on. Okay, go for it. Give it a rev. Nice. It was removed and replaced with uh, 335i dual exit uh, exhaust port, which looks factory. Uh, if you take a step back, it's really, this is actually one of my favorite parts of the car, uh, having the dual exhaust on the wagon. We also have not seen a lot of people go through the trouble, uh, one selling these swap wagons, of doing the dual exit exhaust um, modification. Usually it's like a JDM style single tube that's like this big coming out of the rear, uh, which also looks cool, but if you want something that looks really factory, um, you know, this is obviously the choice. This looks like it could have rolled off the BMW assembly line in 2011. Um, completely as it sits right now. I wish they made these sounds sweet. It would have been sweet. But yeah, same thing around the driver's side. Um, no paint imperfections from what I can tell. I mean, obviously we've got swirl marks and whatnot, um, but no chips, no paint missing, no scratches. And uh, yeah, wheels are in great shape. No curving on any of the wheels. I mean, we, we do have a tiny bit uh, right here actually now that I'm Noticing that X drive stickers um, and yeah, that's pretty much the uh, the standard E9 X E91 uh, station wagon here. I am not a BMW fanatic, but uh, this definitely has has made me fall in love a little bit more. So now we'll come around to the interior, um, most important part of the car, obviously the driver's seat, and uh, it shows. It's, up, I would say, the most worn um, seating area in the car. Uh, the floor mats have a little bit of staining, and uh, the seat also has a little bit of staining, a little bit of wear on the bolsters down below. Uh, you do get an M steering wheel along with that E92 M dash um, and gauge cluster, and then it's an upgraded shift knob as well. Um, we have a little more wear here on the uh, driver's left arm rest here, but uh, nice to see that the door pulls, all that stuff is in good shape. Buttons aren't sticky. I don't know if that's really just a Ferrari thing and the Maserati thing, but uh, good shape. You also get the M kick plates here, which is a nice little touch. Um, start stop button on this car, as well as heated seats and general things. There's no infotainment hump on this car as well, which is nice um, because screens oftentimes date these vehicles quicker than they should. Um, I'll pop the key in and we'll do the sunroof real quick. So there's the main roof. And I believe we showed this uh, while we were driving as well, but just to show it again. And then we can, boom, very cool, I love that. So let's head around to the passenger. Or actually, why don't we go counter plug. It's got rear driver's side, same thing, very clean, uh, no issues with the leather. It's, there is a little bit of staining on the driver's side rear, um, but yeah, this, uh, this rear rear cargo, rear passenger area is in really good shape. Um, you've got the uh, sun visors as well, which don't get, well, you know what? We're missing one here, but this at least, you get some uh, protection from the sun. Coming around back, another really cool, another really cool feature is uh, this rear dual, dual opening 
uh, cargo area so we can do this or we can get the full effect. Bam. And it is incredibly clean back here. Um, astonishing to see this in such good shape. Almost a 90,000 mile car. Um, you've got your tow hook there. A few tools. Might be, uh, hmm. not sure what that is. But uh, yeah, everything appears to be in order. Um, throw this down, head around to the side rear. Same thing back here. Um, this is also, for some reason, missing its shade there, but you've got this rear one, so 50%. A little staining, unfortunately. Uh, we did try to remove that, but it is tough. Um, and a little more on the outer edge here of the driver's, uh, sorry, the uh, passenger side rear, like that staining right there. Um, but otherwise, in very, very solid shape. Um, I would raise the cosmetic condition of the exterior probably an eight, eight and a half, and I would raise the cosmetic con condition of the interior probably the same. If it wasn't for the wear on the driver's seat, I would probably rate it almost uh, even a nine. Um, but yeah, the wear on the driver's seat is, is unfortunate, as well as you've got the staining on the uh, transmission funnel there. Um, not severe, but definitely um, noticeable. The passenger front seat is in much better shape than the driver. It's really just the driver that has the issue. Um, I will note that this cup holder, classic BMW issue is stuck. This one does, however, function. Um, and then we've got glove box down here with the original owner's manual. Three sedan sport wagon right there. Beautiful. And uh, let's head around to the piece de resistance. Why don't we? Oh, and by the way, it is a heated steering wheel. The button is just right here. Um, but another pretty neat feature. I, I have a feeling it's a kind of cold weather package. But last and certainly not least, our M54. So you've got, you know, clean hood, um, and then obviously the engine bay. They've smushed a uh, N54 inline six in here uh, with the turbo, upgraded turbos, uh, which photos will be included in the gallery. Um, and yeah, this engine was completely resealed um, when the build was done. We're waiting on a, on a build sheet from uh, the previous owner who did the work, but uh, he said, you know, if we were to just, if we were to give him one of these cars at 328 and ask him to do that work um, without giving him the engine, with the engine and the work, it would be well over $10,000. Um, it's kind of the number that he told us. So, um, you know, it's, it's not a cheap job, but, to get that crazy power, it's, it's an interesting play to make. Uh, so we're very excited to own something as unique as this. And uh, the engine's in great shape. We were told that it's the, uh, it was the same or similar mileage as the chassis, which is 89,000 miles. Um, and obviously we've seen these N54s uh, go up even into the 200s fairly reliably. reliably. So yeah, this is uh, quite a neat car. Engine's clean, and that would obviously be your biggest concern purchasing it. And uh, yeah, we've, we've definitely done our best to detail as much as the build process as uh, we've, we've been shown. And also, um, you know, we included a lot of photos of the underside and this engine bay, as you can see, is very clean and it runs great. Um, so yeah, this is certainly um, quite an interesting car and, and we're super excited to be offering it. So. Cheers, and uh, please reach out to uh, schedule an appointment if you're local or you'd like to come see it, or if you have any questions, we, uh, we love to chat. So take care and uh, happy hunting. All right, so here we are. We've just uh, wrapped up our photo set. It's pretty hot, so I might be sweating a little, but luckily the AC works as it should. Nice. I salute you, sir.
sir. got an opportunity to uh, get on it a little more. We're going over the bridge here. Very quick, very quick, without a doubt. That was his second to third little pull there. It pulls like you want it to. It's very impressive. And it sounds incredible. Very happy with it. And you get a little bit of a burble when you let off. It's it's definitely uh, it's nice. No then put the partition all the way forward. There we have it. We'll go back now because that's the way I like it. What else can we do? Um, the radio we haven't quite figured out, but oh, there we go. Well, there we go, radio, and then the AC, as we said, functions as it should, it'll really blow quite cold there, uh, got it at 60, yeah, it's doing its job, we are nice and cool, this has also got heated seats, and um, I don't think a heated steering wheel, it does, it does have a heated steering mm -hmm. wheel, Okay, look at that. So yeah, and then obviously you've got the the glorious six-speed, um, which is just a blast, and that nice little perforated leather uh, perforated leather shifter there. 